Global Collaboration for the Highest Good. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 324. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our weekly progress update number 324, June 9th, 2019 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and build self-replicating and sustainable teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today, what I want to talk about is creating a global collaboration for the highest good because that is living and creating for the highest good of all is one of the foundational values of one community and creating a global collaboration for the highest good is really what one community is about and everything you see happening in the background of this video is our sustainable infrastructure our sustain our highest good education program fulfilled living practices everything that we're putting together all the foundations of one community are designed to demonstrate a model that is easy enough affordable enough and demonstrated as attractive enough to spread on its own and become the web of interconnected communities and groups working together as a global collaboration for the highest good of all. And that is our, that's our path, is to take the physical foundations of sustainability, which you can see happening in the background right now, the food, the energy, and the housing, and put those together with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as highest good education models, highest good economic models, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together to create an evolution of sustainability and a way of living that we think that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. And to demonstrate that as easy enough, affordable enough, and because it's better than the way that most people are living right now, attractive enough, so it can spread its own, creating a global collaboration for the highest good by open sourcing and free sharing all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for everything that we're creating so that it can be replicated, so it can be evolved, so that, so that future iterations can be even better, and so that others can join the highest good network of people working together to create more and more versions and options and open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for everything that we're doing and so much more. And so with this, we are a 100% unpaid, all-volunteer, non-profit, non-governmental organization. We've had about 400 volunteers uh, contribute to the project at this point, over 400, I believe. And um, you know, we're creating this because we want to live this way. And we're open sourcing and free sharing it because we want to teach other people how to live this way. And we're even creating software to organize the cooperation and collaboration. But just this last week, I was talking about how that software is going to work to be able to do consensus with large groups and how to be able to get input in a, in a team of 1,700 people. How would it, we be able to work together to present ideas, to vet ideas, to move those ideas through the decision-making process and be able to have everybody who's interested in it contributing to those ideas to make them better and how we can open source and free share the best of the best as well as the ideas that are rejected so that people can take those ideas and still run with them. This is our idea of a global collaboration for the highest good. It's a collaboration and a cooperation of people all around the world living in sustainable communities just like the ones that you see here and so much better and so much bigger because we're open sourcing and free sharing it and creating one community as a place where people can come and visit and stay and experience what it is that we're doing and take the best of it as open source and free shared plans and replicate it if they want. Or to come and be a part of one community. If you carry the consciousness for the highest good and want to be a part of a place where the purpose is to constantly create and innovate and evolve and grow and share the solutions to food, energy, housing, economic models, education, all these things to constantly grow this. If the idea of, of a life of personal growth and contribution and making a difference in the world is something that appeals to you, then one community is meant to bring the best of the best of people that carry that vision together in a place where we can cooperate and collaborate and live together, share the responsibilities of maintaining such a place, and devote the additional time that we have to helping the world to replicate it all. And this model, if you run the numbers on it, 
we can run this model and we can maintain this model about 20 hours a week and we put the rest of the other 20 hours a week into open sourcing and free sharing and creating the social architecture and all the aspects that will make one community an amazing place to live and even more amazing place and even and, and, and also an amazing place to visit and experience so that people want to come and check it out and the more fun we're having and the more we're sharing what it is that we're doing and the more we're open sourcing and free sharing everything that we're doing the more successful the model is meant to be. And that is also being open sourced and free shared. So every component of everything that we're doing is being open sourced and free shared as a pathway to this global collaboration for the highest good of all people and all life on this planet. That's what we're doing. This is our brilliant idea and it's not our idea, it's the idea that a lot of people have. We're just open sourcing and free sharing everything necessary to replicate it and doing the work to create it, and creating the website infrastructure and everything else that's needed. This is what we're doing, and everybody's invited to participate. So, and if we succeed, if we can create a self-replicating model, if one community can motivate and inspire two additional communities to start the year after that, and then those three communities, one community and those two communities working together, can inspire four more the year after that, and then eight the year after that, and 16, and 32, and 64, in a self-replicating process like that, we could conceivably touch the lives of every single person on this planet, include every single person on this planet, within 30 years. Now, is it really going to work that way? Well, of course it's not going to work that way. But we also don't need to include every single person on this planet to touch the lives of every single person on this planet. We can create a world that works for everybody within our lifetime by just enrolling 5 or 10% of the population, probably even less. We can touch the lives of every single person on this planet with even less than that. And so our goal is to create that self-replicating open source foundation prototype and open source and free share everything necessary to replicate it and to kickstart this global collaboration for the highest good, which is already happening. Of our 400 volunteers, we have had volunteers on every single continent, except for Antarctica. <laughs> and we have had people, so people from all across the world, all different ages, all different nationalities, all different religious backgrounds and political affiliations. Like we're bringing together people of diverse ideas, diverse views to work towards a common goal of creating a world that works for everybody and all that other stuff. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What really matters is we can create a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. We can open source and free share the tools and the resources and everything necessary to make that possible, and we're doing it. And anybody who wants to can participate. So with that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working toward this goal of creating a global collaboration for the highest good of all people and all life on this planet. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, Brianna Olson, sustainability researcher, joined the team and completed her first week researching the most sustainable insulation options. These images show her first round of results. Harsha Gadapati, sustainability researcher, also joined the team researching the most sustainable insulation options as well as the most sustainable window options. You can see his initial research here. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 54th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed instructions. This week, Shadi finished the last round of revisions and additions to the clothing and storage area. Now this section of the plans go to testing again in 3D. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team confirmed all the furniture sizes and outlined all the needed furniture updates shown here for AutoCAD. Tanya Griffin, Aubrey Ann Boyle, and Ali Marsh, interior designers from Lotus Design Pros, completed their 24th week helping with the Duplical City Center interior design details. This week's focus was checking and updating the final cost analysis details shown here. Uchiao Zhang, architectural designer and drafter, completed his third week helping finalize the City Center AutoCAD and SketchUp files. This week's focus was finishing all the sections updating the detailed drawings for the hexagon in diamond windows and enter gates. You can see some of this work here. Ron Wang, mechanical engineer, continued with his fifth week working on the energy modeling for our LEED Platinum certification and City Center open source HVAC design tutorial. 
This week he input the electrical, ventilation, and infiltration loads into the model and created and assigned the space types. You can see some of this work here. Elizabeth Kahn, environmental consultant, also completed her 16th week as a researcher. This week she returned to researching the most sustainable faucet options, reviewed all the options provided by Sloan, and created the spreadsheet shown here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued with week 12 of our research into lake and water retention landscape creation as an additional source of water for food production and the duplicable city center sprinkler systems. This week, we finished the contour and ridge point dam designs and finalized the demonstration placement locations for all of them. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued working on the redesign of the Ultimate Classroom. This week, we added items to four classrooms and an additional urinal to the men's restroom. You can see some of this work in progress here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team analyzed our YouTube results for this year in comparison to last year to show significant improvements have been made through our changes to our presentation strategy. The core team also used a new tool for analyzing our Google Grant AdWords campaigns, showing we still have a lot of room for improvement there. Jin Hua, web marketer and graphic designer, then used this information to run even more reports and outline the next stages of our Google Analytics and Google Ads campaigns. And Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, continued with his 32nd week as part of the marketing team by creating a Google Ads review and snapshot covering the last six months of his development of these campaigns, researched the steps to maximize linking Google Ads to Google Analytics, and created a May 2019 summary of results as our next marketing starting point. In addition to this, Brian Guild, project management professional, continued with his eighth week of updating our business plan and project management strategy by further developing the full marketing plan. This included conducting market research, positioning of the brand, analyzing the competition, and crafting a message and profile for one community's target market. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of creating a global collaboration for the highest good of all people and all life on this planet. If you like this stuff, if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog, visit our website. There's so much information there and we're developing it every single week. It's evolving and growing, getting even better. If you'd like to help out, you can visit our helping page. And if you like the easiest way to help out, you can uh, visit us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so you get our weekly uh, updates that way, our YouTube updates that way. Uh, it's the easiest way to help us out. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to share our information and to join us there. We are on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, Reddit, Pinterest, Instagram, 
um, LinkedIn, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible. Uh, if you'd like an email every time one of these updates, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we personally send out emails. So we don't do mass emails. We just send out the emails as a group, and but we're physically actually doing that. It's not an automated process. So just know that you're in good hands. We never spam. We send one email a week, and if you'd like to be on the email list, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. A real person reads that. A real person adds that to a contact list, and if you ever want to be removed, just send an email and a real person will delete you and send an email letting you know, hey, we took you off the list. Thanks for paying attention and following us as long as you did. So this is what we're up to. And of course, if you're somebody who's donated to our project, that helps a great deal. We're looking for donations to be able to upgrade our hardware uh, right now for our website so we can have a private server. They currently don't cover that. So uh, know that none, no donations, all 100% donations go towards our open source goals. None of them go to dues or payments or wages for anybody. We're a 100% volunteer team, as I said at the beginning of the video. So if you're somebody that's donated to us or you're on a monthly donation plan, it really does make a difference and know that 100% of that is going towards open source and free share goals and really website expenses and that kind of stuff is pretty much what all that goes towards. And so thanks. And if you're just somebody who's watched the end, hey, thanks for that too. Every little bit makes a difference and we are grateful. We're grateful that you watched the end. We're grateful that you're following our progress. And until next week, we will, of course, as I say, every single week, keep on keeping on. Thank you.